Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to another Jamaica version of our DC Coin World International coin channel videos. As you can see we have the one dollar, two one dollars actually, one on each side, one dollar, one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and twenty dollar Jamaican coins from the 90s to the 2000s. And you might say to yourself, geez, how could DC Coin World in even start to buy these particular coins. I mean, you usually we usually have coins that are much less of a value on them. We've never had a $20 coin on before. It's not clear to me we've ever had a $10 coin on. I'm not, I think we may have had a $5 coin, but I'm not even sure of that. So normally we're limited to $1 coins, but if I was to tell you that because of Jamaican inflation or hyperinflation, all of these coins together at the time of their use in street value were worth about 25 cents US. So Jamaica had this incredible period of hyperinflation. It's still lasting till today. Um, the, their money uh, system has been um, broken, you might say. And so when we talk about these coins, if all of these coins together add up to 25 cents in purchase value US, uh, you can imagine how hard it is for the people of Jamaica to use their currency. Okay, so let's start looking at these. The first coin we have is a $1 heptagonal. So let's just blow that one right up there. And you can see the back of the coin has as many Jamaican coins on it. The Jamaican coat of arms. And so it says Jamaica at the top has the um, alligator. This is a female and a male member of the Taino tribe standing on each side of a shield which bears five golden pineapples and a red cross. This is that is Jamaican crocodile on the top, not an alligator. Let me finish, fix that up. And there's the royal helmet of the British monarchy and what they call the mantling. Out of one, out of many, I'm sorry, one people. And the denomination at the bottom after $1.1999. So again, this is heptagonal coin. If we tip it off on its edge, we see that it has a smooth edge. And we tip it over in the back and we see that it has... Let's see if we can get this. This is the tough one because these nickel plated steel coins are just killer to kind of get so you can see them on. There we go. So this particular coin has the right excellent Sir Alexander Bustamante national hero. And Jamaica did a number of national hero coins at this time, including uh, the uh, 20 cent Marcus Garvey and the $20 Marcus Garvey, which we'll see later. The other $1 coin we have here, so this particular coin was from 1999. Let's just bring the other coin in while we're here to show you the other $1 coin from 1991. Again, you can see it's a huge difference in size. Uh, this particular coin, 1991, same Jamaica, same Taino tribe, same um, Jamaica crocodile, out of many, one people same cross and fruit um, but on this one look at this it has this great edge writing jamaica and um, this particular um, coin let me see if we can get it to go has a kind of a read to it too so if we go this way we see oops this is actually hard to kind of get on here. So if we keep going across, we see that um, the edge of the Bustamante coin um, says Bank of Jamaica. So that's Bank of Jamaica as we go along. Kind of a nice looking coin. Um, and so those are both one dollar coins. This Again, you, you can see that it says 1884 to 1977. Next, we have the $5 Jamaican, and that is from 1996. 
again, it looks like we have a heptagonal coin, but this actually has a rounded edge, has the a shield on it, has a reeded edge. And on this side, we see that the right excellent Norman Manley national hero, Norman Manley, he was a prime minister of Jamaica for years and years. Uh, and that's his picture and it reminds me of exactly how he looked in, in the pictures that we saw, we, I have seen of him. So there's Norman Manley on the $5. Next we have the $10 coin. Again, we start with the back and you see the members of the Taino tribe. Um, if we blow it up, you see that there's a little bit more detail um, to the tribe, uh, the man and the woman and the, the headdress and everything you can see on them. It's a $10 coin from 2008. And again, the $10 coin is one of the national hero coins. And it has the right excellent George William Gordon national hero on it. And this one, I wish you could see a little there. If we go like that, you can see it a little bit better. He's, he's got his glasses on and um, he is kind of looking straight towards the camera. Uh, very old style Jamaican looking man, old English style Jamaican looking man. Um, this particular coin, it was a $10 coin, had a street value of seven cents US. And what they call this is a scalloped border. See how it, it's not heptagonal, it's not hexagonal or anything. It has a scalloped border around here and the edge edge is smooth, smooth, smooth. And finally we have the $20 coin. And the $20 coin, which at the time a street value was about 15 cents US, this one actually is worth about 50 cents or more US um, right now, the collectors are kind of looking for these. This is not in great condition, so it's not going to bring a big price. Uh, it has the, they call it a segmented reeded edge. Uh, there are four plain segments and four reeded segments. And again, on the back of this one, as I said, there is a 20 cent um, Marcus Garvey, and there's a $20 Marcus Garvey, and there's the right excellent Marcus Garvey National Hero, the year 2000. Okay, that's all we have today for our Jamaican coins, the $1 coins, the $5, $10, and $20 coins. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel, and feel free to leave um, an, any messages in our comment section, and we'd love to have you join our channel uh, as a subscriber.